Hello everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Sandy Bay here on Farming Simulator 17. Now it's finally harvest season, we can start harvesting all of our fields. Um, so, I've actually waited for this because as you can see at the clock it still says summer, but I did tell you it was going to be autumn in the next video. That's because I want to show you guys exactly what happens to the landscape when autumn comes. So um, what I'm going to do is use the time fast forward mod now to fast forward the, the time a whole day and... Um, We'll see what happens to the landscape. So ignore all the pop-up messages that may pop up now. Okay, so it is now autumn as you can see. And uh, if I just make it daylight here. And the trees have all changed, all the leaves, sorry. All the leaves on the trees have changed colour, which is absolutely fantastic. It's one of my favourite features of the Seasons mod. Um, I am actually going to suggest, I don't know if it's already doable yet. But I'm going to suggest in the winter the leaves fall off, if that's possible. But um, yeah. I think you'll agree it's really, really nice little feature that they've added here. So yes, if harvesting bores you, you may not enjoy the next couple of videos because we are um, doing some harvesting. It's the, uh, the whole point of the game, basically, is a farming simulator. I'll just move this microphone in a little bit. We'll go ahead and boot up the uh, Hilux here, first of all, because we need to go and collect... Let's just reset this head tracking here. There we go. So yeah, we need to go and collect the... Um, the harvester first of all so we have the class lexion for those of you that haven't seen it just yet so let's um why does it feel like my head's getting lower and lower i feel like there we go i feel like a little bit short in this vehicle and um, well, actually when i get out in a second i'm going to make it a little bit brighter uh, i'm going to skip forward the time a little bit more just so it's a bit brighter for us today cool let's just park the hilux up here get it turned off and uh let's make it a little bit brighter Make about 8 o'clock. There we go. 8 o'clock start isn't bad. So here we are. This is the class Lexion 780, which we're going to be using. Um, where did I put the header, actually? Oh, the header's already at the yard. I just remembered. We literally just walked past it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn on the Lexion. We'll scooch her forward here. We'll get the... In fact, we're going to pick up... Can we take the header trailer? No, we're not going to take the header trailer with that. Change your mind. We are actually going to... Um, does this come forward? Yes, it does. I thought it looked a bit a little bit too far away. There we go. So yes, we're going to use a tractor to pull the header trailer down. We were going to use the Hilux, but I've just had a change of heart because if I remember rightly, the back suspension on the Hilux is a bit too soft and it drags along the floor, so we're not going to bother doing that. Look at the trees. I think it, um, it's nothing to do with Seasons mod, but I think when I make my map, I think I'm going to put a little bit of uh, green trees in there as well, just to give it a bit more variant. Um... So this harvester is now ready to go. We'll go ahead and get the beacon lights on here. And let's we'll go ahead and select our weapons of choice. So once again, we are using, as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, the method we're using is we're using the auger wagon. And we're going to dump that into the truck. So there's the auger wagon. So I think we may use make the vulture take that because it's quite big. Here's the header trailer. We are going to um, take a tractor down with that as well. Now the reason... Uh, we've parked this here, it's because it's dolly trailered, and I don't really know how to use a dolly trailer all that well. So, in the meantime, what are we going to use today? Uh, so, like I said, we're going to use the Vulture to pull the Olga. Uh, who's going to pull the trailer? I think we'll take the Fast Track. We'll take the Fast Track down. Um, in fact, no, a lot of people like the case. We'll take the case. Okay, so we'll jump into the case. I um, still haven't got around to putting the uh, trigger on the outside of this. Let's go ahead and boot this up. There we go. She sounds beautiful. So, um, the person who made this tractor, Jack, or edited the tractor, um, messaged me on Facebook, and this is not currently out, this version, so, um, that's why I've not provided a link for it, but I have put a link to his, uh, Facebook channel in the mod list anyway. So, there we go. Let's go ahead and hook this up. Like so. Back, back, back. So I know in real life, technically, you lower the hitch with the uh, loop ones. But we're going to go ahead and use manual touch just for a bit of variant here. Let's go ahead and jump out of here. Get it hooked up. There we go. And uh, that's now ready. So, um, yeah, the Vulture. We're going to take the Vulture. Just seeing if I was going to change my mind at the last minute there. But yes, we are going to take the Vulture. Um, or are we? We could take the John Deere. Could take the John. No, we'll take the Vulture. Play it safe. There we go. We'll jump into here. Get him closed up. And we'll boot her up. 
Come on, they take a little bit too long to start up. I'm pretty sure it's quicker than it would be in real life, but uh, still, I'm a bit impatient, so I like to get in and go, which is not possible when you first start up a tractor. Right, so we'll go ahead, turn ourselves around here, and we'll get the auger wagon. So I'm not sure if this is really something people do that often in real life, but it's just something I wanted to do. Um, I tried to use a bit more trucks, basically, in this Let's Play, which is why we have the man and the Tatra trucks. So we're going to be taking quite a lot down today, but we should get quite a lot of money out of all of this, so it's going to be good. Just make sure we don't scuff her up. It's a brand new paint job on this. There we go. Uh, so we're actually going to be driving the combine. Now, I know in real life you escort the combine, so the truck would go in, the head of trailer usually was in front on whatever it's on. But um, I find that Follow Me is not very good at driving combines, so we're going to go ahead and take this down ourselves. So get it on the road here. Now, once again, I did say I'm not going to be using tabbing, but if we do tab around, that means we're simulating other drivers. So, for example, I shouldn't need to run back and forth to tractors if it's technically driving itself down anyway, because they're not magic. They're technically different people, if you think about it that way. But then we'll do it like this for now. So we'll go ahead and get this on there. Follow me here. Next up, we will get the... Yeah, we'll get the head of trailer, and then we'll put the trucks at the back. So we've got a nice little convoy going on. I'm a bit worried about this header trailer. I can promise, well not promise, but I can guarantee he'll end up crashing at some point and the header will fall off. That's just what I'm guessing already. I'll just double click that button. That wasn't good. There we go. Okay, I'm going to pull this out. Beautiful. Are we going to squeeze past this gate? That's the question. Still getting bad FPS along here, but I've realised, I keep saying this, but you guys can't tell anyway, because my videos are rendered in 30 FPS. So when I say we've gone from 60 to 30, you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, because you can't see it, which is, uh, I look a bit crazy by doing that. But uh, I promise you, it is doing something. Look how weird these are, because of the strobe lights we've got here. Right, and finally, we need one more thing in our convoy, and that is the Tatra trucks. Now, I'm not sure how much the Tatra trucks take altogether, but um, hopefully... It's quite a lot, because it'd be annoying if we have to go back and forward every now and then. So, you mean my... Oh, it is this one. It is the Tatra. I thought I got confused then. So, go ahead and boot her up. Now, do we have the trailer on the back? Yes, we do. I don't know why I'm looking behind, because there's no window behind us. So, we'll pull ourselves out of here. I feel like I'm playing Euro Truck all of a sudden. Okay. Around here. Shame the mirrors are useless on this game. I could have actually used it to go around that corner then. Okay, so here we are. Now what we are going to have to do is put this a little bit further back because I'm pretty sure that tr trailer is longer than 10 meters like, with the tractor. So push him back a little bit like that. And our convoy is finally ready to go. So we're going to jump back into the Lexion. Still got Dutch plates on this. Let me go ahead and switch that out. Not Dutch, sorry. It's German, isn't it? Dutch is uh, NL, if I remember correctly. Cool. So we'll end indicate out of here. So I'm not doing a field by any sort of pattern. I'm just going to whatever one we fancy. So we're going to go for not 11. That's the other one's 14, I think it is. Because there's two of them together. So we get two of them out of the way as quick as we can. Hopefully the convoy is not going to get stuck or anything. There we go. So we're just transporting the combine down to the fields now. And what we could actually do is use the sheep pen to get to it. No, we're not going to. We'll, just st we'll stick to the roads. We'll stick to the roads. And judging by the PDA, everyone is through, which is good. What is that huge bright light in the windscreen? That ain't good. There we go. Windscreen's a little bit shiny on this thing. In fact, so we're going to indicate left. Hopefully no traffic comes. It's actually, have I got traffic turned off? I don't think I have. I just think they haven't loaded in properly yet. <laughs> right, so we'll go nice and wide around here to give everybody enough room. We'll even mount the bank a little bit for the um, header trailer and stuff. I don't think that's got collisions. Hopefully not. Awesome. So now we uh, just take a slow drive down here. Now, I'm going quite slow. In fact, I'm going top speed, ironically, which uh, I thought I was doing manually. But it turns out this is just how fast it goes anyway. So we need to look into buying new fields soon. So we're going to see how much money we get from um, from all of these harvesting. Well, when we've harvested all the fields, I should say. 
Right, now this I'm a bit worried about this corner, not for us. But um, it's a little bit sharp, so I'm hoping the header trailer and stuff can get through. These trees look amazing, don't they? Right, so I had an itchy head then, I do apologise. So if I feel a bit croaky, I do apologise, I'm still a bit ill, but um, I'm slowly coming out of my illness now. So I should be back to my usual self uh, early next week, I reckon. In fact, for when you guys watch this, it will be Monday, so it technically will be next week for you. Let's go ahead and turn this corner here. A bit worried about this path. I'm worried about a lot of things in this journey. I just don't trust the uh, AI. And judging by the PDA, I think we've lost somebody. No, we haven't. No, they haven't. They've just squished up together. Go ahead and turn our beacon lights off now. We don't need them. Now, I should have... This is any bad thing. Um, in fact, what we are going to do is pull over a little bit. And we'll let the header trailer overtake. Because we want to go ahead and position that in the field. So that we can attach it nice and easy. So I'm just going to jump out and stop the convoy. Um, you can push up a little bit, actually. There you go. And we want this case. There we go. So we got control of the case again. I'm going to have to move the vulture, actually. Dang it. Right, you can move off the road a little bit, please. So we can squeeze the header trailer past. I'll leave it running. Can you get through there? Yes. Get a harvester through there. As long as we can uh, mount this little bank without the header falling off, we should be fine. Let's get some four-wheel drives just in case things get a little bit sticky. In fact, let's, oh, let's get some fresh air in here, shall we? There we go. I couldn't find the IC dot then. Let's get some fresh air in here. Alright. Is it still on? Yeah. Well, actually, what way is the header? That way. So we need to face left when we get to the field. So I can't remember what's in here. I think it's canola in this field here. So um, this is going to sell a lot of money. We won't have to do any bailing or anything. Is that withered? That looks a bit worryingly withered there, but hopefully not. So I think the canola is ready to harvest. Well, it is. Hopefully it's 100%. Oh, no. The Tatra's following us. I forgot to turn following me off the Tatra. Dang it. Now, how are we going to do this? This is going to be hard because we're on a dolly trailer, but we'll do our best. Don't judge me. I'm terrible with dolly trailers. I did say that at the beginning of the video. Why won't it go into reverse? I was pushing the wrong button. That's why. Right, there we go. Swing around quickly. Oh, we jackknifed her, but it should be fine. There. We'll leave it like that. We're in the crops a little bit. Shouldn't worry, it's going to be a little bit. So the plan is to swing the combine in here, hopefully you can pick it up nice and easy. And uh, we'll pull the trailer away and then we'll begin. So the Tatra unfortunately is in the way a little bit, but we should be able to get the combine around here. It's absolutely fine, forgot to turn it off. Okay, so we'll jump into the Lexion one more time. So these fields are quite small, so we may not even need the Olga pipe straight away. The Olga wagon, sorry, straight away. But I was just thinking about the future, basically. So when we do bigger fields, it's going to come in handy. At least we already own the trailer now, which is good. So can we get around here? Hopefully so. Beep, boop. Whoa, FPS. Look at this. Positioned perfectly. Going to have to straighten up a little bit, though. There we go. Right, let's attach this on. Awesome. I'm just going to pull forward a little bit, because I'm not sure if this is like the other header trailer. It doesn't look like it is, but um, we have issues sometimes, don't we, getting the header off. In fact, we do on this one as well, by the look of it. Dang it. Come on. Get off. Every header trailer on this game seems to be derped. Oh, we can literally just reverse this one off. No idea we can do that. Sorry about that. So we'll pull this away and we'll just leave it parked up on the side of the field for now. So we're not going to be using the case much today. Oh gosh, I forgot about that little bug there. There we go, get it turned off, four-wheel drive off. And that should be the case done for this video. Now, we could send it off doing other jobs, but unfortunately we've got nothing else that needs doing just yet. Um, is this canola? Yes, it is. Canola and it's 100% ready, so we should get full... Let's just climb under this tree a minute. We should get... F um, full yield out of this. So what we're going to do is 
unfold the harvester. So let's move that camera around a little bit. There we go. I think actually on this tractor, on this um, header, sorry, you need to unfold it as well. Oh, you did on 15. Doesn't look like it's the case for 17. Go. Right. Boot her up. And we are away. So I'm going to do the headland first. Well, of course you do the headland first. But I mean, I'm just going to do it by eye and not use GPS or anything. And then we sh might use GPS in a second, see as we've got all these gizmos. Be rude not to. So we've got <laughs> lots of tram lines on this side of the field, which was a, a bug with Proceed. But it doesn't really matter all that much. So we are harvesting away here. Look at that. It's actually spraying it everywhere. That's cool. Yeah, the reason I went for this combine is I think I just like the attention to detail on this harvester. Like, there's a fan on top that spins. It's pretty cool. And in fact, I found out as well, if we go into here and turn on IC. Press the IC button. There we go. We've actually got loads of little gizmos and stuff. So if I press all of these, we open up various things on the combine. Like, we've got the fan on show there. The engine's on show. So which is pretty cool. In fact, if I leave the camera like this and uh, switch back to here... Close the fat. Close that. I don't even know what this one was. Oh, it's the side panel. The exhaust uh, thing's in there. Well, there we go. So yeah, lots of uh, IC stuff on here, which is pretty cool. The door as well, which I forgot. So it's a pretty cool combine. This is in the mod list, or should be in the mod list. Uh, which, of course, links you to my Facebook page. Well, that's where the mod list is now, unfortunately, because I no longer have a website. Okay. So just going to head down here. Look out for a view. Seriously. I'm going to have to get a thumbnail. Bear with me. There we go. That was a pretty nice thumbnail we got there. We got all the nice autumn scenery in the background. So hopefully that came out okay. I find that's one of the most important things. Is the thumbnail. Nice little memories as well. So I usually keep the actual picture as well for memories. It's quite cool. So I seem to be doing okay here for now. Which is good. Because I've got a microphone right in front of my face. Blocking my view. Let's go around this corner here, as neat as we can. I think I'm going to do two headlands, because we've got a wall up that side, which I don't really want to have an argument with later on. We've got some trees on this. In fact, this tree's overlapping into the field. So yes, I think we'll do two headlands. Just for a bit of a... Uh, well, the saying's headlands, but that doesn't really work when uh, you talk about combining, because that's what it's called anyway. Bit of security, maybe? So we don't crash into anything. Bit of insurance. But anyway, how are you guys? Welcome back. Sorry I haven't uploaded for the last few days. I have been, well, first of all, I've been working. Second of all, I was working on my map. So um, I've started dead. I don't have that much time left to, um, like, basically, I'm quite busy most of the time. So I either record in my spare time or work on the map. So the last couple of days I've been working on the map. It's coming along quite nicely. Can't wait to sh finally show you guys and release some, like, trailers and stuff. And um, we'll be in testing. I'll be doing the tested soon and then other people will love it as well right, well, this corner is going to be quite easy as long as we've got the turning circle here to do it yes oh turn so actually somebody pointed out in a previous video that um, we had this harvester on Sandy Bay as well uh, not Sandy Bay but that's what we're on now on Thornton Farm on Farms in 15 um, which is true, we did have this one. It was giving us bad FPS, but this one seems to be absolutely fine, which is nice. And um, this one hasn't got all the additional stuff, but the cameras and that. But um, I kind of prefer that, because it's just unnecessary, personally. Right, everybody, so we're just coming towards the end of the second headland now, which is going to be the final one, and then we'll get our GPS all set up and go into our lengths. Um, this, where is the, oh, there's the GPS on this tractor, on the top there, which is quite cool. It's actually a top-down by the look of it. A top-down GPS. 
Right, so we've come towards the end of Hither. Awesome stuff. Uh, so what we're going to do is start on... Actually, mm, How are we going to start? Yeah, we'll just start on this side. Why not? just want to check, actually, how full are we? 60%. Uh, See, we'll get quite a lot more in. Let's put this into forward. In fact, we're going to switch out into the third person here. And what's going to be the best way to do this? Probably like this. Where is this? There we go. Turn that off. Whoa, wait. Boop. And reset that just in case it's given us one without wanting it. And we'll take that. Cool, so the first one's just going to be a tidy up, basically. So we'll reverse here. We'll get the GPS on. Lower down the header. And begin our length. So once again, this one's going to be a little bit messy, this first one. But um, keep a nice straight edge for the next one. We're going slightly diagonal because the field's not completely square. It goes off, like, down the side. So, um, yeah, we're going to do it this way, I think. Right, so there's the end of the first pass. That's actually longer than I thought it was going to be. Go ahead and get this lifted up. In fact, I want to get this piece here that I've missed as well. Then we'll reverse backwards. And there we go. Get the head lifted up. We'll back up here. And we'll go in to our next pass. There we are. Get that lowered down. But a bit of a bad turning circle on this. A bit of, I've got my concentration face on, I do apologise. So GPS is on, cruise control's on, and now we just gotta sit back and relax. Awesome. So, um, I'm not sure how we're going to sell this yet. We might sell it straight away, but we might uh, save all up and do a selling episode. I think that's what we might do. Uh, we'll get a high, the highest prices we can, basically. Um, as far as I'm aware, there's three stores on this map. Four stores on this map. You can obviously tell in the, option, in the start menu, but I don't want to do it just yet. Uh, we don't really need that GPS open anymore. We'll get the small version of it up. Don't need the map. Don't need the map. There we go. So let's take a look whilst we're here. We'll take a look at our forecast. Let's, wow, we need to get this harvesting done as soon as possible. So today is Wednesday. And it's due to rain today, tomorrow, Friday. Saturday's going to be cloudy. So the chances of it becoming... Um, being dry in time is looking pretty slim. Which gives us just Sunday afternoon-ish if it's dry. And Monday to harvest again. As you can tell, Tuesday we are expecting snow, which is strange. So that must be the um, that must be the start of winter there. Um, in fact, we got a lot to do in these six days. We need to seed drill and we need to seed and everything. We need to drill our seeds. I was meant to say because we are doing some winter barley, which should give us some money to tie us over for the summer and stuff like that. So I just lower this down. GPS on, cruise control on, I'll carry on with this next one. So yeah, uh, there's not much we can do in the summer, so we've got to make sure we are going to get our winter barley done. So we're going to do this field here, and the one next to us, which I can't remember what number that is over there, but that's going to be our winter fields, and then the rest of them, we're just going to make sure are nice. We're going to plow them, we're going to cultivate them all separately, get them planted up, fertilised, and all that good stuff, and then... Um, when it comes to spring again, we should have lots of nice fields to use. So, this one's going to be our rough cuts, basically. We're going to call these fields the rough cuts, because they're not going to have time to, like, nourish them properly in between each season. So, we're just, this is going to be basically a job of putting down barley pretty instantly. Now, I'm not sure if in real life you can plant another crop straight after another one. Let me know in the uh, comment section below, because at the moment this is obviously canola. So, would you be able to plant barley in real life straight after? Don't see why not. Uh, actually, the seeds might still be in there. That's the only thing. Right, go ahead and get this off. Rotator around like this. Ooh, a little bit too fast there. That back down, that back down. And we're away. My phone won't stop. Landing Kid is now live, apparently. So I have to watch that after this. But what we are going to do now is get the pipe out, if I can remember how to do it. Uh, this one, this one, there we go, got it at the end. Got it at the end. So I'm actually going to stop at the end of here. 
Um, I haven't set up any course play courses, I was meant to, but uh, I wasn't sure what equipment we were using and everything just yet. So it's not going to kill us to do it ourselves. Uh, so we've come up to the end of here. In fact, unless we get to 100% before the top of here, which I highly doubt, we're going to jump in to the Vultra in a second and unload this. That's going to be the plan. I don't think we're going to fill up the, uh, the Tatra today. So we shouldn't have... Probably didn't need to bring the back trailer. But at least we've got it here in case. We could do two crops, actually. That's a good idea. Right, so we get this lifted up here. The pipe is out. So let's jump into the... Where is the Vulture? Where did I leave her? Well, we're going to tab through to the Vulture because, of course, we're simulating two different people. Which is here. Cool. Get her booted up. So I probably should record, but of course, I can't actually record, of course, until we've got some uh, grain in the back, which is why I haven't done it yet. That looks strangely withered, which is kind of worrying me a little bit. I'm going to squeeze around the Tatra here. What way do we have to be? That way. So we'll just swing underneath the combine here. Oh, slowly. Oh, there's no subroof on this tractor. There we go. And we are finally figuring up with canola. So whilst that's unloading, we jump back into the harvester. For when it's finished, we just go ahead and leave again. There we are. In fact, I just realised we have the little uh, pipe cam as well. So there we go. If you do have a drive control, you can press the right alt key and you get a little pipe cam, which is quite cool. So there's that filling up. In fact, I could probably go... F no, backwards I meant. Sorry. Oh, we're empty now anyway. Let's go ahead and get the pipe away. It's actually attached to the uh, pipe, which is quite cool. It's like a little GoPro. Right, let's go ahead and go into our next lane then. I thought we were going to... forgot the case was there. <laughs> Might have to move that in a second. So we'll get lined up for the next row. There we are. Cruise control on. And we are away again. So how much did that fill up? Not much at all, actually. So I think we might actually be able to get... Because we've got the um, the tandem truck, we might be able to get one crop in the front and one in the back. So we can technically load up two crops in one go. I'm hoping. Of course, it depends how much yield this field gives us. We may find that uh, we've got more yield than we think. Right, okay, everybody, so we are just coming up towards the last couple of passes now, so hopefully that came out some okay footage, because I'm going to try and time-lapse it. If there wasn't a time-lapse, it means it was just boring. So um, we're going to go ahead and get this. I don't think it's going to be worth turning around to the end of here. Might just reverse down. Uh, we'll see how long it is. Um, yeah, we'll turn it around. We'll turn it around. This will be our last time, though, and then we'll just... Uh, uh, actually, yeah, we will. <laughs> I decided... Yeah, I was just going to reverse down, but um, this is actually a little bit longer than I thought it was. So we just as well turn around. Nice and slowly simulate. As soon as you lift the header, as soon as you lift the header trailer up, it flies for some reason. Right, there we go, put it into forwards. And uh, we'll do this. So I'm not going to bother go turning around now, we will literally just reverse. And that should finish us up on this field. Uh, I'm not sure what the field level is right now. Yeah, we've got quite a lot left. I think it's like 64, I think I saw then, before it faded out. Let's go ahead, reverse back up this track here. And we'll get this final little piece here then. Lower the header down. And there we go, we are done. So was there any pieces that I missed? That's the question. Looks like I've got majority of it. Uh, yeah, looks like we did. Looks like we got most of it. There's a little, little tiny bit down here which we're going to go and get. Money's money! And we don't want to waste a single drop of this stuff. Uh, so there we go. Uh, plus we don't want to risk having the, uh, the roots and stuff still in there when we plant our barley either. Back up here, there's a couple pieces on the side. Now, I'm pretty sure I got these, but um, I got a feeling they might be out of field bounds, but hopefully not. Let's try it. Oh no. We can get them. Awesome. Let's lower this one down. There we go. Let's 
Find a little piece. Good stuff. Right, so we're going to go ahead and lift this up now. We'll get it turned off, actually. We don't need it on anymore. We'll get our pipe out. I can hear it. Can't see it. There we go. I've completely missed the organ pipe, by the way. The organ wagon, then. Let's just drive up to it real quick. Now, are we close enough? Let's go ahead and use... Oh, we crashed into it. We were a bit close, because we crashed into it. That's probably a sign that we're pretty close to it. There we go. Uh, is it over? Yes, there we go. So the pipe cam does come in handy sometimes. Just unload this fine little bit here now. And actually, we'll jump into the Vulture. And uh, we'll unload this first load then. And that is this field done. So I'm going to go ahead and get the HUD on. So we can see exactly what we're doing. So we've only really got 60%. So we didn't actually need the tax truck. But we are going to go ahead and unload it anyway. Because these guys are going to set off doing their next job. Let's lift this pipe out here. As you can see it kind of going... Oh, we're in a tree. There we go. So yeah, we'll set this guy off. And uh, the harvester will make a start on that field next to us. So we'll unload this. We'll jump into the next vehicle. There's a lot of jumping around today. Are we going to be able to fill up this first one? That's the question. Dang it, we need both of them. I thought we might have been able to get away with putting it into one, but nope. Unfortunately, we do need both of them. This is going to be a little smudged, though, I think. There we go. So that is all of our canola from the fields. Now, how do I put the wraps on there? Are there even wraps for this? No. Okay, there's no wraps, or no covers, I should say, for these traders. Let's swing this around, and we'll head back to the farm and unload this. Now... I haven't really come up with a method yet on how we're going to unload the front, uh, the one attached to us uh, with the back trailer on. So we may have to unload the back one and then drive out, but we'll soon see if I can come up with a method. Maybe I can turn, like, a right angle and uh, expose the back of this truck. It's very bouncy along here. Ooh, there's our uh, turning. There's no beacons on this, unfortunately. It would be nice if there was. Might be something to add myself later on. So that's our field as well, field number 11, that is. Um, the reason we didn't do that one first, even though it's right close to the farm, is because I don't plan on turning that into a winter crop. I could do if we got time, but I don't plan on doing it. Right. So I'm a bit confused, actually. Is when is it Tuesday today, or Wednesday in-game? Because it's saying it's meant to be raining, but next to the time, it says it's sunny. So, I'm not sure what's going on here. Maybe it's a bug, or maybe I'm just looking at the days wrong. Now, there is a new version of Seasons out that I haven't updated to yet, which the uh, the creators of it have sent out to all the Pro Bowl team. But, I, like I said, I haven't updated it yet. And it will actually change where it says the first of autumn. It will actually change up to months, which is pretty cool. So we'll be able to see exactly what month it is. Right, where's the entrance to this farm? Oh, there's our sheep field. So I'm assuming it's right here. There we are. Swing around here. Are we going to get these back traders on? Oh, I can actually use the mirrors in this thing. Nice. Just not on that side. Because they keep flashing. Right, we're going to go in here. Now, which shed shall we make our canola? Any mini mining mill doesn't really matter. Um, Actually, should we use the silo or should we dump it? I haven't made this up. Oh, we'll dump it. We'll dump it. We'll, we'll do one load and then we'll put the rest into there. So we'll quickly open these shed doors here. Is there lights for these things? I don't think there is. There's lights inside, but how do you turn them on? Um, lights. Is that it? Let's turn the spotlight on. Yep, yeah, there's the lights. Cool. So we'll swing this around here. Now, this is going to be hard to do. So we'll do it in third person. If we had proper working mirrors that actually work like mirrors are supposed to work, then we wouldn't we'd do it in first person, but... Yeah, I'm not messing around with there, that. Oh, scraping the side of the trailer. It's not good. Let's try that again, shall we? A little bit too late with the uh, steering wheel there. So let's back up into this corner. Like so, and we'll unload here. 
So my plan was to unload the back without removing the back trailer is, if I just lower that back down again, put it back into forward, put it back, let's lower the camera down, put it back into reverse. This might not work, we'll give it a go. Look at this, this is going to work perfectly. No, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Yeah, it worked fine. It's going to get harder to do that as we get a bigger pile, but... Why is it doing that thing? It's doing the thing where it won't let us unload it into a heap. So what we'll do is just drive forward a little bit and we'll scoop it all up in a sec. There we go. 0%. So we'll go ahead and get this tipper closed back down again. This all needs tidying up after. We'll do that with the uh, tally handler or something. Right, so we're just heading back now towards all the other equipment. And we'll make a start on the second field. Is this thing's actually not as fast as I think it should be. There's a bird just went overhead. I saw the shadow of it then. A lot of fuel usage. Right, where's the entrance? Here it is. Does it indicate down here? I think I may have actually accidentally turned traffic off. I'll have to have a look at that in a second. Because that's making it a bit unrealistic. So we'll fly down here. I like it when we haven't got a little convoy on the go because I can literally floor it because I know when the turns and stuff come and I know that I can take it if I break. Just don't trust the AI, unfortunately. Here we go this way. Where's the entrance? I always miss it. Oh, we went past it. No, we didn't. Good brakes on this thing, actually. Very good brakes on this thing. So we'll turn back down here. Oh, up on the curb a little bit then. Not to worry. Right, so I'm going to leave. Where's the entrance to this field? I think it was just behind this tree here. There it is. Right, get it turned off. We don't need it for a while. And no, we're not going to get through there. So we'll jump back into the vulture real quick. Close that door. That's your left eye see on then. How do we put this pipe away? There we go. I'm just going to move this out of the way a minute because we need to squeeze the combine past now. So we'll park next to the Tatra. Like so. There we go. And uh, finally, we'll jump back into the combine. Um, well, we'll run to it. I don't want to risk getting bad FPS, so we'll just run to it. Now, I'm hoping that we can actually get through that gap. Looking at the header, it's a lot wider than I first thought, so hopefully it'll actually go down this path. What we will do is get the pipe in, though. No? Turn the GPS off. We don't need it. Now, nice and steady, just in case we are a little bit too wide here. Well, it looks like we might do it scraping some leaves along the way, but no, we're stuck on something. What is this? Surely we're not stuck on the trees. We're a huge combine. Well, I don't know what we were stuck on, but we're through now. And yeah, we can do this. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So go ahead and get the combine booted up again. Now, we are going to be dropping a swath for this field. If Actually, I need to stop to make sure we've actually got it on. Uh, enable straw swath. There we go. Because we want the bales from this to sell and all that good stuff. And we're possibly going to get into some animals as well, don't forget. Right, so we'll make a start on this. This is wheat by the look of it. Can't remember where I planted what where, but there we go. There's wheat. So I'm going to leave it here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please tap that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more for myself. If you are subscribed already but you haven't clicked the bell, Please click the bell next to the subscribe button. That will give you all updates and stuff when I go live on live streams and all that good stuff. Why is Diflox on? So once again, hit that thumbs up button. I've been Simulate Gaming and I'll see you in the next one.